Greetings everyone, once again is Martin and today we're gonna be making uh, translations of a teaching that was given by Zul Lassan. <coughs> uh, Zul Lassan is the only teacher, the only mandated teacher in our era, in our time. So once again I would like to thank Luba, the only creator, unique, uh, by the manifestation of his grace that he has allowed us to know the truth and to be taken out of darkness and we are enlightened by the teachings that Zula San is giving to us um, in this time. So today the teaching is going to be on the original sin. The original sin because there's a lot of people that are lost about what happened in the Garden of Eden. How did the man fall? What happened? Some people are going to say, no, Eve, the person they claim is Eve, but her true name is Muto, meaning the first woman. Some of them will say that she took an apple. She took a fruit. She bite, she, she bite the fruit. She, eat, she has eaten the fruit, according to some people. Others will say, no, it's because she had intercourse with the serpent. Others will say it's because they made a part twos, they made some sort of intercourse and that's that's the sin the original sin for them is intercourse so there's a lot of confusion right now amongst the false pastors and among all those religions fake religions and all sort and form of beliefs that's why uh, this teaching is very important for us to know to know what happened in the Garden of Eden, what was the cause and how it came to be, what was your original sin, what was it? Was it an apple, was it a fruit, was it uh, the intercourse or something else? What was it? That's the question that we are going to be answering today. First, you have to know that the original sin doesn't have anything to do with intercourse or sex right because when you read the scriptures the the commandment was given to men to the first man and the first woman to go and multiply before the fall so they were given the order to multiply so that means to have intercourse to have that relation before the fall so that was allowed that was permitted that was before the fall so all those people who claim that the original sin was relating to intercourse or so on that's false because that was allowed now we have to go into bibel the only authentic bible without any errors or contradictions and we're going to dive in in depth into what happened in the garden of eden <clears throat> for that we are going to go in bibel in origin that's in genesis in the current day bibles so in bibel origin chapter 3 starting from the verse 1 he says this however so I'm going to be translating here once again the only authentic Bible here it's available it's in French and I will be translating here in English for us however the bigger so origin chapter 3 verse 1 first so the title is of origin 3 is seduction and manipulation so verse 1 however the bigger and the most powerful and also the most enlightened in bracket illuminati of the terrestrial snake dragons and all living beings of the soil and air of the globes that loba by the manifestation of his will had made received a voluntary teaching of satan le moudi maboube evil spirit in order to harm to harm 
Moto and Muto. So we're going to dive in depth step by step. Moto and Muto is the first man. So Moto is the first man and Muto is the first woman. And they were both black. They were both blacks. And they were in the garden. And we know that that garden was in Africa. And you're told here in chapter 3 verse 1. That the bigger and the most powerful and also the most enlightened of the terrestrial snakes dragon. Meaning that that serpent that serpent was a big serpent dragon so it was a dragon serpent uh, so a dragon snake and terrestrial because there were some form of existence so animals that were created First, it was in the waters, and then it was in the air, so that could fly, and then it was the terrestrial. And you're told here, first, the water, the animals that were created in water, why the water first? Why was the animals created, those beings being created in the water first? We have to understand here that the revelation given to us by Zulu Lassan, the water symbolize the spirit. That's why they were created first in the water because the water symbolizes the spirit. So that's the first. Then the second that came, the animals that were created, it was in the air. And that will symbolize what? That will symbolize the astral plane the astral plane meaning uh, the soul because you're told that man become became alive became a living soul so first is the spirit in water represent water second is the astral so the soul and the third is the terrestrial that represent the earth the soil so that represent the physical meaning, um, yes, the physical, so the body. So that's the mystery behind the order of the animals that were created in uh, the beginning, in Genesis. So you're told the bigger and the most powerful and also the most enlightened Illuminati of the terrestrial snakes dragon and all living being of the soil and air of the globe that loba by the manifestation of his will had made so the bigger and the most powerful of the terrestrial and the air, the air beings because that dragon that bigger dragon snake wasn't more powerful than certain beings so the beings that were created in waters so we're talking about the leviathan and so the the monsters in water so the sea monsters those they were more powerful than that terrestrial dragon snake but he himself he was more powerful than all the animals of the soil and of the air so and we are told that he was enlightened so in bracket illuminati meaning he was bright he was smart he had knowledge and he was the most enlightened of all the animals of the soil and of the air so he that dragon received a voluntary teaching of satan le Mun de mundima bobe evil the evil spirit so that dragon snake received a voluntary teaching from satan so from the devil because satan himself couldn't have access to the garden of eden of couldn't have 
he didn't have access to the earth he could just enter the earth right because you're told in job that satan was uh he was uh he was traveling the earth and then he saw job right but in genesis here satan didn't have access because moto the first man was the law represented the law and satan couldn't just co come in into his kingdom okay. like that so so there needed to be a breach to be so there there was a need for him he needed an opening to have access to earth <clears throat> and to be able to influence what happened on earth so he needed an opening and the opening came in the form of the bridge that that serpent that big dragon serpent <clears throat> opened and <clears throat> when that dragon opened that satan simply saw <clears throat> like a breach like a door open and he simply went in through it and what was the breach you're told here <clears throat> satan the Mabube evil spirit entered the big snake dragon and did only one and the same entity with him because he promised the serpent dragon that after the fall of moto and muto it's him the snake that will dominate the other marine dragon and the whole universe so that dragon snake terrestrial wanted to dominate also the monsters that were in the sea that was um, in uh, the ocean that was in the waters in the waters in, so the marine life he wanted to dominate over them because they were more powerful than him and that was the opening that was the breach because of that envy he that envy created a breach in him and that breach allowed satan to come and give him a teaching so he received the teaching of satan of satan of the devil when he opened that breach because that was his opening that's what he wanted right and that was already a disobedience and that was why then he conversed with Satan. And in that conversation, Satan promised him that if he they go wrong and if he corrupts and harm Moto and Muto and made them fall, him, the dragon snake, terrestrial dragon snake, will dominate over those dragons in the water and that was voluntary meaning he wanted that that's what he wanted so he wasn't forced he wasn't coerced he was of his own will because that serpent also had what we call free will because some people will claim that free will doesn't exist but it does and even the animals have free will and that dragon snake also had that and of his own free will he allowed satan then to enter him and make one entity with him one entity with him so you're told here because he promised the serpent dragon that after the fall of moto and muto it's him the snake that will dominate the other marine dragons and the old the whole universe so he wanted to dominate even the whole universe so he wanted to surpass moto and muto because moto the first man uh was the one that was in charge that uh, was the heir and had control over 
and he wanted to surpass them as well. And that's what Satan promised him. It's him, the snake, that will dominate the other marine dragons and the whole universe. This happened because Satan de Mudima Bube, evil spirit in person, couldn't enter without camouflage in the enclosure of Monda Garden. So, like I said, Satan couldn't just come in into the Garden of Eden if he didn't... Uh, he, because if he just came, first he couldn't have access. He didn't have access, so he couldn't come right away. And even if he did, Moto would be there, so wouldn't allow him to enter like that. That's why he went through the serpent, and through the serpent made one entity with him, see, the, the, like a sort of fusion. And that was a camouflage. So then he went, because he was, that serpent was already on earth. So he simply possessed him. Couldn't enter without camouflage in the enclosure of Monda Monda Garden. As soon as Satan de Mudima Bobe, the evil spirit, took possession of the big terrestrial snake, big terrestrial serpent, he went to, Mo to Muto, so the first woman. He went to Muto in a cunning and friendly way. In a cunning and friendly way. So he came in, he went to Muto in a friendly manner, but inside that, it was also a cunning way because he wanted to harm her. He wanted to seduce, manipulation, all that. That's what he wanted to happen. He wanted her fall. He wanted her to fail, to disobey. Moto, so the first man, Moto, the husband of Muto, was not near her when the dragon snake, so the dragon serpent, the serpent dragon, came to meet Muto. The big dragon serpent told Muto. So the big dragon uh, serpent told Muto, the first woman. Kinye Moye, light queen. Because they had, they use and they were friends. So they used to talk, to speak to one another. And he previously referred to her like that, light queen, because she was a queen and she was a light queen. She was Muto, the first woman. So she was superior than him. So, but they were friends. So he came uh, in a friendly manner and he said, Kinyemoye, which means light queen. Is it true? Is it true that Mutatedi, the entity, so who's Mutatedi? Mutatedi, people will call him, um, it's an entity. People are know, know the entities in today in English as the angels, but it's an entity, basically a superior being, an entity uh, that... Yeah, an entity, like an angel, but an entity is very powerful. So it's much more than the notion of angel that they have currently. <clears throat> so, Mutatezi, the entity, so is it true that Mutatezi, the entity, to you, to you, to your husband, and to yourself, really said to not receive the teachings of all the entities of Monda, in bracket, garden, question mark. So he's asking, is it true that the entity, Mutatezi, told you, so to you and your husband, to not receive the teachings of all the entities of Monda of the garden? What are those teachings? We have to understand that in the Garden of Eden, there were 
uh, what we call entities. Entities. Now, in the garden, there was there was also what we call uh, trees. So behind the trees that we could see, invisible trees, there were entities behind them that were teaching men, the first man and the first woman. Uh, for example, when, for example, there's some fruit. When, if you took the fruit, it was a teaching regarding taste, regarding, it was an initiation, a sort of enlightenment. So, that's what it was. Behind the fruits, behind, that was a teaching. And behind that were the entities. And Muto, the first woman and Moto, the first man, saw the entities as well. So they were in their presence in the manda, in the garden. So, and the serpent asked here, is it true that Mutate did the entity to you and so to you, to your husband and to yourself, to both of you, really said to not receive the teaching of all the entities? So the serpent is asking, is it true that Mutate did the entity ask, well, told you to not receive, that it wasn't allowed for you to receive the teachings of all the entities, so all the, all the trees as well, because behind the trees, like I've mentioned, like I've said, they are the entities of Monda Garden, and he said, and also, all the animals are talking about it. So we're saying all the animals are talking about it. So they talk about about this, about about that, about the teachings, about the the forbidden. That's what the dragon is saying, the serpent dragon. <coughs> and Muto, so the first woman, the volitive faculty, replied to the big dragon serpent. So she replied, we can receive the teaching of the entities in the Manda garden enclosure. So she says, we can receive the teachings of the entities. So of various, uh, we can take the fruits of various trees of, of the fruits. We can take, we can aliment ourselves of that, of, of those teachings. Verse 3. But as for the teaching of the formidable entity of the science of the good and the evil that is there, far from us, in the center of the enclosure of Monda Garden, he told Moto, but of the entity of the science of good and evil, keep yourself to be initiated, illuminated by him, because at the same because at the same day when you will receive his teaching, you will become mutable. Mutable. And if you do not receive the mystery of purifying grace, you will know visible death but if you get this purifying grace you will not know visible death so she says but as for the teaching of the formidable entity of science of the good and the evil that is there far from us so there was an entity in the center of the enclosure, so in the center of the garden. And that entity was formidable. And it was the entity of the knowledge of science, of good and evil. And that entity Moto and Muto were forbidden from directly 
from getting that teaching from him and why because it's like electricity for example electricity you know there's electricity uh, that we use in our houses that some people use in their houses right and when you plug it goes to various appliances so because is regulated right so the amount of power that will come out of the plug it's it's uh, regulated so it's a certain density and is a certain level that is compatible with the appliances that you have and that is allowed meaning we can use that power right but what is not allowed, for example, is the electricity uh, pure itself, meaning that is not regulated, right? That is brute, that is uh, of high voltage, for example, that directly that they get from, um, from the central, right? Because the central, you, they need to be a canal, a channel, a channel from where from that uh, power plant for example he will come out in wires and so on so it dilutes it so it's appropriate for us to use for example a person cannot just simply go there and grab it directly from the power source right it will be too dense it will be too strong and that was the same principle Basically, Moto and Moto were allowed to receive the teachings from the other entities, to receive the teaching from other sources, but not directly from the source of that entity, because that entity, first, you're told it was formidable. And if Moto and Moto received that brute teaching directly from him, they will be mutable, meaning they will change, right? Because they are, because Moto and Muto were living souls. And that teaching was reserved for the pure spirit. The pure spirit. Because we know that Moto was an entity. He was an entity. But when he came on earth, when he was made into a living soul, he became an astral being. He also had his spirit. But he was no longer in the condition of the pure spirit uh, that he was. Because he came on earth to accomplish a mission. And that mission was revealed to us by Zulu Lassan. And if Loba permits, I will, uh, I will say what was that the, the mission in following teachings. <clears throat> and because of that mission, then he had to live uh, as a living soul in the astral plane. But he also had a spirit. So in that condition, he wasn't allowed to directly alimentate from that entity so that's why he had to go through other channels to receive the initiation to receive the knowledge that so basically it was for his own good because if he received directly from that entity like i've mentioned he will change and he will become uh, mutable so that's why so that's what she says here but for the as for the teaching of the formidable entity of the science of the good and the evil that is there, far from us in the center of the enclosure, because there is some people, some false prophets, false pastors, people that have no knowledge of scriptures, that would claim that no uh, Muto and the serpent had intercourse. And that's what it was. But no, you're told here that 
as for the teaching of the formidable, formidable entity of the science of the good and the evil that is there, far from us, in the center of the enclosure of Monda Garden, he told the motto, part of the entity of the science of good and evil, keep yourself to be initiated, illuminated by him, because at the same day when you will receive his teaching, you will become mutable. And if you do not receive the mystery of purifying grace, you will know visible death. But if you get this purifying grace, you will not know visible death. So, basically it was for his own good. If he didn't receive the grace, he will die, he will perish in the visible. So, verse 4. So, origin chapter 3, verse 4. Then the dragon serpent told Muto, the first woman, <clears throat> not, not at all, Kinye Moye. So not at all, light queen. You will not taste the mystery of the grapes of death. So here, the serpent is already starting to uh, to put his plan. Well, he's starting to lie. You will not taste the mystery of the grapes of death. For you have so well summarized it yourself that this prohibition of not to aliment of the teaching of the entity of the science of good and evil was only addressed to Moto, your spouse, and not to you, which means that you have the right to be initiated illuminated so now the serpent is saying to Muto the first woman that that prohibition was only given to Moto because Muto told him that Mutatedi told Moto the first man but why didn't Muto, the first woman, also told him that he was also that forbidden, so that uh, interdiction was also addressed to her? Because when the first woman was brought to Moto, she also received teachings from Mutatidi, the entity before she was presented to Moto, to the first man. So you see, the serpent is already, it's already, uh, is already lying and putting lies. And he's what he wants to happen in her, through his words. So he's lying. So he's saying, not at all, King Yemoye, you will not taste the mystery of the grapes of death. For you have so well summarized it yourself that this prohibition of to not aliment of the teaching of the entity of the science of good and evil was only addressed to Moto, your spouse, and not to you. Which means that you have the right to be initiated, illuminated. So, verse 5, I will reveal you a secret. So that's the serpent. I will reveal you a secret. Muto answered and said, which one? Question mark. So Muto, the first woman, is asking which one, which secret are you going to tell me? Because Muto, the first woman, knew more than the serpent. She had more knowledge she had more power in all plans, physical, spiritual, astral. She had more knowledge. She was superior of him. She was more superior in, than him in every way. So she had more knowledge. So that's why she's asking which one, which secret. Basically, 
it means which secret can you tell me, me who is superior than you? You see? Me who know more than you. So she's, she answered, which one? Because she was also curious. She wanted to know. The dragon serpent replied and said, Knowing that Mutatedi, the entity that came to your husband, knows well and also all the gods, the entities of the great order of things, that the day so they know that the day moto and you will element of this teaching your spiritual eyes will be opened to the forbidden and mysterious knowledge of the beyond the great veil and your own nature will become like that of the gods entities of the great order of things and you will be like themselves autonomous who declare what is good and what is evil they fear that you become such as them so the dragon snake the dragon serpent is saying knowing that mutatezi that came to your husband knows well that and also the gods of the great order of things so all the entities that the day motu and you will element of this teaching you your spiritual eyes will be opened your spiritual eyes will be open to the forbidden and mysterious knowledge of the great beyond to create veil as i've told as i've said as zulasan have uh, revealed to us Moto, the first man, was an entity, meaning he came from beyond the great veil. So he already had that knowledge. So which knowledge then would he then know when he himself is already has a, uh, like an entity? He's already an entity. But he's saying you and Moto, meaning you the first the first woman so the woman and also your husband because the husband himself meaning moto his spiritual eyes he already knew he already knew about the what's beyond the great veil what's in the great order of things because he came from there so he already had that knowledge but muto because she didn't come directly from the great order of things. That's why. So that knowledge, because she didn't come directly, she didn't have it. So then that serpent is saying then, you, you see, you, because he knows, and him, so he's putting them both inside, but he knows that Moto already has, but he's trying to, get to her and tell her that okay you receive it and you also tell your husband basically you go both you see so lies it's seduction manipulation he's trying to manipulate the situation and that serpent couldn't go directly to moto the first man because moto would tell him that i already have that knowledge what are you talking about that's why the serpent had to go to muto the first woman because muto himself was as an entity so he would say i already have the knowledge of the great uh of beyond the great veil because i come from there what are you saying you see but because muto is different so he's going through her to bring disobedience and you're told here and your own nature will become like that of the gods entities their nature was already like that of the entities moto himself was an entity 
but he knew that there was nevertheless a difference. But their nature were like that. The nature of Moto himself was like that of the entities. But because he was, uh, he came to accomplish a mission and he was in the astral uh, like a living soul. And he said, Their, your nature will be like that of the gods, the entities. Because Muto, nevertheless, she'll know, yes, I have the same nature, but there's nevertheless a difference between her and the entities uh, regarding um, the, the clarity, the light, uh, her power, and so on, and the knowledge. Of the great order of things and you will be like themselves autonomous well moto the first man was autonomous he was autonomous because he had power he was the law he rep he was the law on earth of the universe who declare what is good and what is evil the fear that you become such as them. So that lies. So that was the seduction, the manipulation. And to know exactly how, uh, what happened more in depth, we have to go into the first, meaning the, the person that was there. And that was Moto, the first man. So we're going to go into his book, Kalata Moto. So the book of man. So the book of the first man, the book of Moto. So for that, So, for that we go in Kalatamoto, chapter 5, verse 1. So, once again in Bibel. So, in Kalatamoto, chapter 5, verse 1. He says, that's Moto. Moto, the first man. He's saying, meaning he's uh, in his book, writing. He's saying what happened. That's his story. Me, Moto, the day I fell, I was there reading in the stars of the universe. It was at dusk during the evening, in the middle of the night and darkness. So it was at night, at dusk, in the evening, during the evening. And you're told that Moto, he was reading in the stars. Of the universe he had that ability what is reading in the stars moto the first man it's like the star it's like a screen for example right now you who are watching me it's a screen and behind the screen it's me who's sharing to you the authentic truth that we receive from Zulu Lassan so that teaching you is communicating with you through a screen right it, it was the same thing that moto had the ability to see through basically in the store he was reading in the store so behind the store were entities behind the stars were entities and he was receiving those teachings those teachings from the entities and he was also communicating with the stars and with the spirits of the stars that's what he was doing at night so while 
I was reading in the stars of the universe, I saw the appearance of the guardian entities of cosmic consciousness, the entities in charge of the morning, the entities of the constellation, the entities having the face of Taurus, the entities having the face of lion, the entities with bare face. and the warriors and the warrior entities so he was seeing an appearance of multiple sorts of entities cosmic entities uh, warriors entities with face of lion with face of taurus uh, the entities of the morning of the constellation entities with face of a bear immediately so chapter verse 3 so karata moto chapter 5 verse 3 immediately the consciousness of the stars was disturbed the consciousness of the stars was disturbed so he saw something he saw a change he saw a disturbance chapter verse 4 so i understood that at that moment so i understood at that moment that muto my wife who is your mother the mother of all the black race this race that came from us had accessed the forbidden initiation the teaching of the forbidden and mysterious knowledge beyond the great veil so he saw that in the stars. He understood the disturbance. He understood what was happening. So he had. And he understood that his wife had taken the, the forbidden initiation from that entity. Verse 5. I was not with Muto, your mother, when she was initiated, illuminated by Mundima Dibie Laboube Nabuam, the entity of the science of the good and evil. So that's that entity. Mundima Dibie Laboube Nabuam, the entity of the science of the good and evil, initiated your mother. Because him, this entity, did not receive, didn't receive the interdiction not to do so. So that entity itself, himself, didn't receive, it wasn't forbidden for him to give the knowledge. He was forbidden for the first woman and for the first man to, to receive, to go and take, uh, to receive that knowledge from him. It's the free will. It's basically free will. Free will. The, mis the mystery of free will. That was at play here. Verse 7. Much later. So he saw that happen. But much later. Muto came to me when I was reading in the stars of the universe. So he was reading in the stars. And there she grabbed me and covered me with kisses, then looked me straight in the eyes. Verse 9. So I said to Muto, turn away, turn away your eyes from me, for they trouble me. I feel in you a mysterious change. I have felt it also in the up evil, the up evil of the stars. So he saw that in the disturbance of the stars. He saw that in uh, the up evil, up evil, up evil of the stars.
So he was already reading that into her as well. Inner eyes, because in her, behind her eyes, he was reading into her conscious, into her, um, her in her sight, in her conscious. She was he was seeing what he already saw in the stars. He was seeing it, and he said, "Turn away your eyes from me." For they trouble me. I feel in you a mysterious change. So that change was already there. And he was feeling it. He knew it. Muto, so the first woman, then said it to me. This change is due to the lightning. So Muto is saying, this change that you're seeing, that you're perceiving in me, is due to the lightning, is due to enlightenment, is due to that initiation. Verse 11, I replied and said, what lightning? So which lightning? He knew that she already took that forbidden knowledge. But he asked her. Uh, he wanted her to confess in him. He wanted her to tell him. He wasn't lying when he said, which lightning or what lightning? Which enlightenment? No. He already knew. But if he came in and said, what are you doing? Or I saw you. Uh, I saw what you did. I know what you did. What's going on? Automatically, Muto will. Uh, you see, she will. She will. Um, she will block. But, his, he knew what happened, and he's basically saying, he want her to confess in him just to express herself. Verse 12. Then your mother opened her mouth and revealed to me the secret of the teaching of the forbidden and mysterious knowledge beyond the great veil. So Moto, when he was seeing what happened to Muto, all the entities, they already knew because they are beyond our time. They already saw that scene uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of times. He already repeated himself millions and millions of times. right? They already saw it. But at that moment, the creation was observing the scene. They were seeing, the entities were seeing, observing, what will Moto do? Because Moto, for the entities, it's like a little brother. And the whole creation was watching. The earth itself was watching. So the spirit of the earth was also watching. The animals, they were observing. They were observing because they were feeling also what was going on. So they were basically at the center of the attention. <clears throat> verse 12 then your mother opened her mouth and revealed to me the secret of the teaching of the forbidden and mysterious knowledge beyond the great veil verse 11 convinced to have persuaded me by force of words so 
convinced to have persuaded me by force of words. Me here is with the M lowercase, with the lowercase M. Carried away by her sweet lips, I let it happen to me out of love for her in order to avoid her annihilation in the known and not known reality. This also with the intention that I can't access the incompletion of the fact that your mother is issued of me. So, convinced to have persuaded me by force of words. So here, Moto, because Moto, um, you have to understand that Moto himself, when we are referring to Moto before his fall, it's with the uppercase. Meaning when he says me, it's with an uppercase. It's an uppercase. <clears throat> so here, convinced to have persuaded me, it's now with a lowercase. And when he said, I let, I let it happen to me, out of love. So that means it's a lowercase. But if you go into um, verse 12, he says, Then your mother opened her mouth and revealed to me. So to me, it's with the uppercase M. So, when she revealed to him that in verse 13, convinced to have persuaded me, that was him now with the lowercase m, that let it happen. I let it happen to me out of love for her. So, he wanted to save her. That's why he let it happen. In order to avoid her annihilation in the known and the not known reality. Because Moto didn't want... Because in the other side, meaning in the great order of things, Moto is... And in the known reality, in the visible, Moto, the first woman, so when I said he is in the great order of things, that was Moto, so the first uh, man. Her, she is in the known reality as well, in the visible. And he didn't want her to be removed from that reality. And the not known reality. So he didn't, because he, she was annihilated. So if she's, she received the annihilation, she would have been removed from the known reality and the not known reality. So basically in all realities. So it was to preserve her. This also with the intention that I can't access the incompletion. I can't access the incompletion. So with the intention that I can't access. So for him to not 
access and completion. For him not to be incomplete. So he had the intention not to be incomplete. Because Muto came from him. Of the fact that your mother is issued of me. Me here is with the uppercase M. So because Muto is from him, if she is removed, if she is annihilated from all the realities, known and unknown, he is here saying that he then will be incomplete because a part of him in the form of Muto will no longer be. So he sacrificed himself, meaning he took the burden as well to save her, to save her. So he was out of love. So in the current day Bibles, you're also told that um, when the word, meaning the verb, for example, come, he doesn't, it doesn't, the word doesn't go back without accomplishing the will. So without accomplishing his mission. So Moto, the first man, also was on earth to accomplish a mission, to accomplish a mission the known numbers and if Muto was annihilated that mean for him he wouldn't accomplish his mission so to accomplish his mission Muto had to be there because Muto is a part of him and that's why he saved her to also accomplish his mission and to preserve her. Verse 14. This is how or I, this is how or eyes. Were also open spiritually on the side of the occult dimension. And we knew that we were no longer clothed clothed with our own garment of light, manifestation of the glory of our own spirits, which is my spirit. We were then revealed in our obscure principle, unknown, not known reality of the fall. Verse 15, so the seven entities of the beginning of the visible creation then brought forth above us a shadowy elevation in bracket known veil of separation between spirit, soul and body and of bracket veil of mutual sadness and tearing in bracket opposition and that was for our physical bodies clothes in bracket mutability mutability so the seven entities of the beginning of the visible creation then brought forth above us shadowy elevation known veil of separation between spirit, soul, and body. So because they were in the fusion, they were living souls. Then they were separated, uh, veil they brought forth above us, a known veil of separation between spirit, soul, and body. 
so that's the fall veil of mutual sadness and tearing opposition opposition that's when uh, in the bibles he says uh, regarding esombe known in the current day bible as paul says um, i have the will but i don't have the power right because there there is uh, opposition now between the spirit the soul and the body they're no longer in like in the beginning so they are opposing one another so verse 16 after my fall into the not known visible reality Muto, so the first woman your mother and I remain faithful even in our thought and conscious dreams by the voluntary passage known to us and in obedience in tete by mutatedi the entity the mudiedi the guide so after my fall into the not known visible reality muto your mother and i so moto and muto remained faithful so they were faithful to each other and through the word meaning through um remain faithful even in our thoughts so even in their thoughts and conscious dreams because uh, they had conscious dreams meaning even in their dreams when moto was dreaming and Muto, they were dreaming, they were with each other. That's why you're told here, and conscious dreams by the voluntary passage known to us. Because there's a passage. So in their dreams, they were also together and they remained faithful after their fall. And obedience and in obedience in Tete, so the Creator, by Mutatezi the entity the mudiedi the guide so that's the story of the original sin of the fall of what happened there's only one teacher it's zulu lassan there's only one message one truth and we are sharing here we are sharing it here um so that's what happened because a lot of people are not aware of that story of when they talk about Muto, the first man they will almost we say no only little things because they themselves they don't know what happened they'll say no he died at uh, whatever 930 years and so on but they won't even talk about Muto, the first woman. They won't say when she died. Right. Because they don't know. They have no clue. But we have the revelation here. And that's the story. So, once again, all glory to Loba. Uh, 